Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is number four in my purge series. Now we are narrowing it down closer and closer to where there is nothing left. We still have a huge project ahead of us though and I'm, ooh, I'm really dreading that one. I'm probably gonna have to have my husband's help with it to be completely honest, but today we are focusing on a few different areas in my house, like this cabinet behind me. This is a cabinet that I've had for years. My dad built this thing years ago, and every time we move, I just kind of take it along with me. Anyways, it gets stuffed with stuff, like kind of on purpose, but not on purpose. Like it's there, and if I need to put something away really quick, like if people are coming to my house, I'm gonna be like Monica, and I'm just gonna throw it in there, and then just kind of forget about it. Thank you, Samson. Today we will be covering a few different areas in my house, this cabinet being one of them, my laundry room being another one. I have a very small laundry room, so it's not like it's got a ton of stuff in there. These spaces definitely need to be gone through and purged. Oh, also I just remembered Steven's office. Um, I'm definitely gonna be going in there. We actually had an um, accident over the weekend that I have to clean up. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do all of these different little areas that there wouldn't be enough for one specific dedicated video so i'm going to combine them all in one video and then the last one for next week is going to be my garage and that will be the last space in our house that i haven't like tackled and purged before i open this no judgment please okay thanks so here's what the inside looks like. We have got a ton of crap in here, just random. We've got pictures. This is Easter stuff. I see some mail back here. There's a box of something right there. We'll start with this. So this is the remote that goes to the robot vacuum. It's gonna stay in here just because I don't have any other place for it right now. And it's easy to keep up with. This is the remote to a thing out in the pool. This is a Halloween tablecloth. Can I help you? Here's some trash, look. Here's a decoration thing. We have a photo. Oh, Steven had these made of me at my happy place. This is me at the beach. Here's some more canvases of my kids and Steven. Aw. Got bubble wrap, this was from Christmas. This is a pair of earbuds. Oh, this is like my uh, techie box. I've got my cameras. This thing I haven't tried yet. It's supposed to like move with you whenever you like walk around. That goes with the vacuum cleaner. Oh, this is the bungee cord for the um, big floating mat thing out there. Mosquito repelling cools, typing paper, envelopes, folders. This is a mosquito puffer thing. This is one of those like silverware things and we've just started putting random remotes and stuff in it. Like what? I don't know what that goes to. I need to bring a trash can in here. So this apparently was a stack of papers that got left on the counter. Leon County. Oh, Blackstone, I should probably keep this, huh? The bits and screws, Easter stuff. This needs to go to the garage. Giant coloring book. Me and the girls got these when we went to Daytona last time. Christmas wreath storage bag. Oh, this is like paperwork stuff into all my walking pad. Easter basket. Oh, here's my Astro stuff. I need to keep up with this. Allergy medicine. Easter, oh, there's a light bulb. There's a light bulb in the Easter basket. That's everything in here. It's completely cleaned out. Empty out cabinet. Need to go grab the vacuum cleaner. This is all the crap that I've pulled out of here that does not go in here, except for maybe like the photos. I think those are gonna go back in there. And then probably that box of like wires and stuff. There we go. Got everything put back where it's supposed to go. And I did go through all of the remotes. I'm not sure 
if these remotes uh, still work or what or why we have so many, but this is like all electronical type stuff. Electronical, is that a word? I think I just made that up. This is like my manuals and stuff like that. Um, I am a was able to clear out an entire shelf and I put these pictures down here until I get a chance to get them hung up and kind of like figure out where I want them to go. And so this whole cabinet is narrowed down to decor and electrical stuff. Now we are currently in Steven's office. I'm not going to show you a ton in here just because he does have like all of his work stuff in here and plus the dogs sleep in here. So the kennels are over here like behind me. But this is the area that I was talking about that we had an accident. I do not know how it happened. Uh, yesterday we moved this shelf and somehow this top one fell and all of the games fell and it was like last night at like nine and I was like I am not dealing with that right now and since Steven's gone today I figured I would go ahead and try to get this all cleaned up. So over here we have these stackable plastic drawers. These guys are cram packed with stuff and I didn't even real like I know that there's like memorabilia type stuff like old photos and stuff like that in here so those are things that I probably should go through and just to like get them neat but I really need to get like like albums for and then there's a whole lot of other just random crap that I really don't know what is in there so let's get busy Okay, so this project only took about an hour-ish. I know it didn't seem like that long to you, but here we are. I went through, straightened up all of the um, board games, pulled everything off the shelves, and uh, threw away some things. Um, I checked through our movies. A lot of our movies, yes, we still have some DVDs. I'm having a hard time parting with them. Anyways, um, some of them are missing 
and it was just the case and no DVD was actually in there. So I went ahead and threw all those away. Also over here, I went through all of these and I threw away a bunch of stuff that was like random uh, notes um, that we would take like during like uh, church and stuff like that. This one in here is all my sewing stuff. So I'm leaving that there. I did take out a couple little random bits that were not supposed to be in there, but I'm not gonna mess with any of this stuff for right now, this is good. I did empty out this drawer, and as I'm sure as you've seen, I was putting um, my kids stuff in here, like paintings and certificates and stuff, and then I realized that this was not enough space, so I did move it down there. So now let's head to the laundry room. Now before we go in this room, you thought that that little cabinet was kind of bad, right? Like it was messy, right? That's nothing compared to what's in here. This is the laundry room. This is a hot mess. Here's an overall scan of the laundry room at its current state. These down here are toys that Ellie has gone through and she wants to donate. They're like Barbies and stuff. This is like dirty dish towels that need to be washed. These are like house shoes that we wear like outside and drop them off in here. This is a whole cabinet that I really don't want. I don't like it in here. We don't use it. It just collects stuff. Um, and I think it could be used for a better space, but this is what we're working with right now. This is all a mishmash of things. Obviously, we've got our laundry detergent. I did have some powder laundry detergent in there, and it started making my daughter break out. Over here is the sink. These are clothes that Ellie went through and they no longer fit her from the video that you saw whenever we went through the closet. I have not done anything with those clothes yet. I'm trying to like list things on um, like resale sites to try and like sell some stuff and like weed through stuff that's like just bad. Anyways, oh, these are my gloves. I can go ahead and put these over here with my painting stuff because I did paint a room over the weekend. This is all dog stuff right here. This, whenever we got Daisy, we got like this um, welcoming kit box thing of all these different products. I haven't used any of them, NetGuard. Yeah, NextGuard. Um, we've got harnesses, dog stuff, dog stuff, paperwork, photos that um, Ellie does not want in her room anymore. So we are going to donate slash sell these photos uh, from the beach. This actually needs to be washed, so it needs to go on the floor. Dog stuff, dog harnesses, cabinets. In the cabinets now there is somewhat of organization going on up here this is like extra stock stuff like up here we still have our 25 cent boxes of uh, spaghetti noodles that we're working through um, honey we've got some borax we've got some um, like tuna we've got extra stock stuff like cotton balls in here is like q-tips and more cotton balls and like deodorants and stuff. And so this is like our extra, like whenever I go to Sam's, that stuff goes in here. Also where our iron stays. This is where we keep the extra hangers from whenever you purge all of your clothes and then you have all these tons of extra hangers. So if you want extra hangers, purge your closet. This cabinet, we have got extra blankets. Um, and actually normally right here, there's a stack of beach slash pool towels, but they are all currently, uh, oh no, they're in the dryer. I was gonna say they're dirty, but they're in the dryer. This is also where other products um, like vinegar will stay, like big jug stuff that just, there's no other place for it. These are all blankets. Um, I think that right there is actually curtains. Is another storage spot for like emergency kits. For, like we live in Florida and so it's always good to be prepared in certain situations so we've got a lot of like preparedness type stuff up here um, lights battery powered lights uh, first aid kit stuff um, what is it first aid kit stuff extra uh, candles extra candles right here that are supposed to be up there that are not extra batteries band-aids that are not supposed to be right there like all of that first aid kits type stuff this is extra lighters um, but yeah, this is pretty much organized. It's probably as good as I can get. I probably could go in and like rejudge some stuff just so it's a little neater. But um, yeah, I'm excited to kind of get this room cleared out because I actually want to paint in here next. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I was just um, organizing up here and rearranging some stuff and then realized that I did not adjust the camera accordingly, so I apologize for that. And here we have it. Everything organized cleared out, wiped down. Those are uh, dog harnesses and leads and they need to be washed. So I'm just gonna let them sit there on top of the wash so whenever that cycle's done, I can just throw them in real quick. I was able to get all of our towels folded and put away. These are like, I guess like sentimental blankets. We don't really use these, they just kinda sit here. And so those are just gonna hang out there for, for now. And yeah, that's, pretty much all of it. And that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, sorry, I was kind of bouncing around like to like the different areas in the house, but this was like the only way that I could think of to do um, these spaces without having a dedicated video for like just this, right? That would be like a two minute video. If you have been here and seen all the parts, give me some thumbs up in the comments. Be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And next week we have got one more space in my house to conquer. And that would be the garage. And that has not been organized in <clears throat> since last September, I think. I organized the shelving and um, all the stuff out there. But um, it's kind of gotten a little crazy. That will be the last part. I'm going to stop talking because I just seem to talk about nonsense. Give me a thumbs up on this video, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you later. Bye!